oh wow, there's no doubt that that needs to come out and needs to come out straight away. He's bitten off more than he can chew. He's bitten off wire, which can actually be life-threatening. How can it be so obvious there and so invisible here? So I just don't know what we're going to find. Downstairs, one of Scott's other vets, recent graduate Phoebe, needs his help with an emergency case. This is Chester. Yeah, hello, mate. He's just sedated at the moment. He's just sleeping. The owner brought him in because he's been vomiting and had really bad diarrhea for about a week now. Okay. Um, so we did some blood tests and it's all pretty normal. And then we did some x-rays and, well, do you want to have a look at the x-rays? Yeah. Oh, wow. The 11-month-old Cocker Spaniel has something suspicious lodged in its abdomen. What do you think it is? Do you think it's like a staple or...? Yeah, it's definitely a bit of wire, isn't it? Yeah. Very weird, but... It shouldn't be where it is, which is right in the middle of this dog's intestines. Yeah. Certainly the reason why little Chester would have been vomiting so violently for so long. Let's yeah. just have a look and see how long it is. It's about nearly one and a half centimetres. So, so be about... Yeah, size. that could be a staple, I guess, then. Mm. The reason that wire is so concerning is that it's got very sharp edges and it can get stuck at points. It can even perforate the gut. If it does so, the dog can get something like peritonitis, which can actually be life-threatening. And the fact that the bloods are okay means that hopefully it hasn't yet perforated, but there's no doubt that that needs to come out and needs to come out straight away. The procedure that we need to perform with Chester is called an exploratory laparotomy, where we go inside his abdomen, we have a good look, we try and locate where this piece of wire is and take it out. Yeah. So let's just give him his GA. You're a good boy. Upstairs, Chester's nervous owners are waiting for any news. I've been really worried about Chester today. It's been really upsetting and really worrying, um, you know, wondering what, what was going to happen to him today. Okay, Jess, I'm going to start cutting now. Cool. All right. It's quite common for dogs to swallow silly things. They don't tend to be too discerning when it comes to going to the park. And Chester is an absolute shocker. He's been in for diarrhea numerous times because of silly things that he's eaten in the park. But this time, he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's bitten off wire. So now we have to go through the many feet of intestine and see if we can find it. I think it's quite low down. Mm from the x-ray, so we'll start at the bottom and work our way upwards. Okay. So that's the lymph node. There's the cecum. Mm -hmm. Basically what we're doing right now is feeling all the intestines, and because the intestines loop backwards and forwards around the abdominal cavity, we're not 100% sure where this piece of metal is lurking, so Basically, we're being systematic about it. Phoebe's starting at the top end, I'm starting at the bottom, and we're meeting at the middle to try and find this bit of metal. But after half an hour of searching... Can't feel anything, can <laughs> No luck. The small piece of metal can't be found. What's amazing is I can't actually even feel it. I've never had a farm body be so difficult to find. <laughs> Honest with me, please. X rays. Come on. In between those clamps on the right, that's what we want. To narrow down our search for this little bit of wire, we use the X-ray machine and also some clamps to try and find exactly in what part of the intestine this little bit of wire is lurking in. Oh, is that it? There it is. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's go get it. <laughs> OK, OK. We seem to have isolated the bit of wire within two clamps, so the amount of intestine we need to rummage through is only a few inches. I've never had a farm body be so difficult to find. Normally you just feel something in the intestine, incise, pull it out. But this one, literally, we've taken about an hour just locating where it is. And now, once we've worked out the exact piece of gut that it's in, now I'm just rummaging around and hoping to find it. So far, no luck. So I just 
just don't know what we're going to find. How can it be so obvious there and so invisible here? Oh, what's that? There it is. Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, you're making me feel like I was going insane. <laughs> it's, it looks like a staple. But that's absolutely the cause of Chester's issues because you can think, swallow that and then have that sharp thing passing all the way down your intestines. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I'm so relieved. <laughs> I honestly am just so relieved. Oh, thank okay, God let's flush him out and stitch him up. Flush him out, sit there, yeah, and then go and have a drink. Yeah? <laughs> Stiff drink. Yep. So hopefully, Chester will be much happier now mm. that that staple is out. <laughs> this dog will literally eat anything. There we go, all finished. Yeah. Is it a worry that I've used staples for this uh, No eating them. Yeah, that would be really bad. All right, let's wake this boy up, shall we? Yeah. It's been a very traumatic day for everyone involved. Gemma and Michael, of course, have been understandably worried, so I can't wait to get them downstairs, show them little Chester and reassure them that he's going to be just fine. Hiya, how are you doing? Hi. Do you want to come down and see your boy? Thank you. Thank you. Come down. It's quite a long surgery. I wasn't expecting him to have to have an operation, um, so it was it was a shock and, and very upsetting. So we're looking forward to being able to take him home. All right, guys, come and see your boy. Oh God! Oh, oh no. Chester! Oh my What's God! That's your little man. Oh, my God. He's like, what have you done to me? It's a little bit like what he's done to himself. Yeah, actually. exactly. Well, this time around, he's decided to eat a staple. Oh, my God. It's out of your office. That's out of my office. <laughs> he's got a bed underneath my, underneath my desk where he sleeps. Right. So that's, that's his comfort when, he's, uh, when, when I'm working from home. It really was a close call for Chester. He really has dodged a bullet or a staple. Although he's still very floppy and very sleepy, he is alive and I'm sure that he is going to recover beautifully overnight and be sent home with a clean bill of health tomorrow. I'll look after your boy. Have Thank a you. lovely Thank night's you sleep. Much. And uh, Thank you very much. And sort out your office, would you mind? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello, mate. Ah, oh, look, much more back to your normal self, aren't you? There he is. Just give a little groom before you go home. Hey, come on then. Cocker Spaniel Chester has recovered from his big surgery to remove a staple from his intestine. And now he's almost ready to go home. Hey, let's go see Auntie Reagan, shall we? There she is. Hi. <laughs> oh, Chester. Hello. The most beautiful eyelashes I think I've ever seen. I know. Let's just check you over real quickly, champ. Hey. Yeah, so this colour's so much better. We've got nice moist gums again. That's good. Let's have a little look at your tummy. Hey. Let's just put your dressing on. Good boy. All right, so we'll give you a little, little brush. Yeah. After some pampering from Nurse Reagan, But his mum and dad can't wait to get him home. Yeah, absolutely. Chester has the all clear to go home with his owner, Michael, who has been waiting upstairs. Hey, is that now I want to be groomed a bit more? It's Come on, quite mate. chilled out here. Yeah, let's pop Come his lead on. on. You need to go upstairs. Here we go. go. Look, in your own butler service. <laughs> here we go. See you, Chester. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye, Reagan. He's up here for you. Hey, who's that? Who's in there? Who's that? Chelsea yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, if he decides that he's going to eat normal things in future, then we won't have this happen again. Yes. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Hmm? Chester was really lucky this time, and although it was a very close call, he's pulled through just fine. And hopefully, when he comes back, it'll just be for a cuddle, but I will have to hide the stationery. <laughs> Brilliant. One last question for you, though. Do you want to keep it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you want to make it to Julia or anything? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll let you make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. All right, then, my boy. You've been such a good little patient. Yes, you have. You're a good boy. Anyway, right. well, th thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Lovely. Thank you. All right. See you soon. Come on, Chester. Bye, mate.
Oh, speedy exit to the door. See you, buddy. No more staples for you. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way.